who will be Mr. World 2024? Watch this video to find out. After 5 years, the prestigious title of Mr. World Beauty Pageant is coming back to our screens. We will finally witness Mr. World 2019 Jack Hazelwood of England to crown his successor as we have witnessed three beautiful Miss World winners during his reign and I think it's time for him to give the title to a new guy because we have been waiting for a long time for this moment. I'm so looking forward to see who will be his successor. Recently crowned Mr. Supernational 2024, Fazil from South Africa was the first runner-up at Mr. World 2019. So this is a message to both the Mr. World and the Mr. Supernational organization to please contact each other and come together in Vietnam on September so we can see a beautiful celebration of the brotherhood that is the pageantry world. It will be a great family reunion and also I think a lot of people will be happy to see two Grand Slam winners at the same stage so please let's make that happen. As of today we have 19 confirmed contestants who will be competing at the Mr. World Beauty pageant. I looked at the biography and I'm really impressed by looking at the social advocacies for beauty the purpose, public speaking skills, stage presence and I looked at the performance at the national pageant to make Make sure they are suitable for the Mr. World title. As Mr. World will be traveling to so many different countries from luxurious places like Dubai to developing countries where people have not many resources and they are very impoverished, underprivileged people. So he has to adapt to different circumstances and situations, mature with a positive mindset and someone who's responsible to serve other people with, without any complaints and bad attitudes. So I'm keeping that in mind when I'm selecting my personal favorites. Mr. Puerto Rico, Danny Major Romero is 27 years old and he has graduated with a bachelor's degree in health science. He is a singer who has performed in Miss World Puerto Rico. He has physical appearance, intelligence, talent and stage production since he has been singing and dancing since the age of 13 years old. He expresses himself through music to other people and him being fluent in three languages including English, Spanish and French, I think he'll be able to communicate with other contestants and the Mr. World organization during the closer interview where it is really important for you to express yourself and also talk about his social advocacy with clarity in front of the judges. So that is a strength of Mr. Puerto Rico moving forward in the Mr. World competition. Mr. Singapore, Joshua Moses, a fitness model, Joshua has been dabbling in fitness and healthy living since he was young. He has obtained a personal training certification in order to help other people through their exercise journeys. I was checking him on social media and he has an incredible body and after completing the Singaporean National Service which is required for all the Singaporean men to serve for two years and serving in the Singaporean military I believe that it has made him to become a mature person with a good understanding about his country. It will reflect in his presentation during the Mr. World competition and I think he has a bright future ahead. Mr. Mexico, Alan Salazar is 24 years old, an environmental engineer who has his degree and a certification for to be a trainer and specialist in street workout. He started his professional career in modeling at the age of 18 in Cancun and then he moved to Mexico where he has chance to work in major campaigns, runway shows, photo shoots, TV commercials with multiple international and local brands. I was fascinated by his background, especially his active lifestyle as he likes to do taekwondo, swimming, athletics, volleyball, football and he is really into outdoor activities and that has really made him a positive person with a great mindset keeping a calm and cool collective mindset but at the same time someone who's not afraid to go out of his comfort zone and that is a great quality to have a Mr. World contestant somebody who believes in himself but at the same time helps other people through his charitable activities his positive mindset will help him in the international passion he will be able to handle any stressful situation with a calm attitude Mr. Dominican Republic. Zilio Pena is 25 years old and he works in the automotive center. He also works as a model and studies psychology. Passionate about sports, he practices boxing, mixed martial arts and his main passion is car racing. To work hard in order to materialize their dreams without losing the essence. He seems passionate, dedicated and focused on helping his nation and also his career. From his professional career, he learned about being a team player while helping and building his company, which is required when you're working alongside the Mr. World organization to be a good brand ambassador for the international company as he'll be traveling to different countries to help and serve the underprivileged people. Mr. Chile, Zoz Mazashido, is 26 years old and he's a commercial engineer passionate about sports. Ever since, he has been doing a lot of things like participating in Big Brother Chile last year where he got quite far and became popular through the television show. Mr. World Chile has been donating 
for over eight years showing that he does not only talk the talk but rather walks the walk. I admire that Mr. Chile is not just talking but he's also contributing through actions to help his society to move forward through self-development and providing them with opportunities. Mr. Brazil, Eduardo Menezes is 19 years old and he's one of the youngest contestants in this year's edition of Mr. World. Even though he's one of the youngest contestants in this year's competition, he seems to be level-headed and mature with a good understanding since he's a student of business administration and also an entrepreneur who started his own business. He owns a furniture and decoration store while also being an active member of the community and he's also into physical sports. As part of his Beauty of Purpose project, Eduardo motivates the practice of sports among among the young people, in addition to help raise awareness and also distribute food to the underprivileged people. He believes that education is fundamental but children cannot focus and study properly if they do not have access to food on the plates. Mr. Spain, Antonio Company is 26 years old and he currently works at a real estate in his hometown, Mallorca. He is passionate about horse riding and sports in general. Alongside his professional career, he embraces his responsibilities as Mr. World Spain. He has a powerful message that he wants to spread through the Mr. World platform to reach many people about his social advocacy, which is to help people through the rare disease that his family member also faced through. Worldwide impact, fighting exterior together, also reaching and inspiring other people who are also going through the same rare disease that a lot of people may not be aware of, of educating other people about this condition. Mr. Lebanon, Mario El Hazi, is set to represent his country, Lebanon, at the Mr. World 2024. He's a brand ambassador and a business entrepreneur in the capital of Beirut, Lebanon. I always feel that Lebanese men are one of the most handsome men in the world, and I have met a few Lebanese men in person too, and I find them really attractive. Maybe because Lebanon is situated right in the middle of the Middle East, and they have a perfect blend of the Middle Eastern culture, but also having the very strong masculine features, which is the big shoulder and very strong jawline which I think is really attractive in a person. What do you guys think? Do you like Lebanese guys? If you do, let me know in the comment section. And maybe that could be the reason why Lebanese men has won many international male competition like International, Mr. International and few other male pageants out there. I can see Mr. Lebanon placing in the top finalist at the Mr. World competition in Vietnam. Mr. Vietnam, Pam Tua, 25 years old and he was recently crowned as Mr. World Vietnam. He was named Double Mill King in two Hanoi National Economics University competition. He has graduated with a degree in English and Economics from the National Economics University. He is a bright young man who has a deputy secretary at the union branch of the Faculty of Foreign Languages and Economics National Economics University. I watched the national competition of Mr. World Vietnam a few days ago and I fell in love with Mr. Vietnam because he's so charming, so captivating and he's so dashing. He reminds me me of Prince Charming from Cinderella and a Disney fan myself. I am so impressed by his communication skills because he seems to have a global understanding about his country Vietnam but also at the same time he understands about global issues that the world is facing regarding the aging population that is a global issue especially in East Asia like Japan and Korea already facing this. I'm impressed with Mr. Vietnam's intelligence and his communication is absolutely wonderful. He seems level-headed, regal and I think he is one of the strongest Mr. World Vietnam that I have seen in a very long time. I will not be surprised if Mr. Vietnam wins Mr. World because he seems to be a whole package and he's checking a lot of the boxes. I look forward to see him as the host delegate as he will be able to introduce about his country Vietnam to the world. Mr. Venezuela, Juan Alberto Garcia. He's 25 years old, a professional model and a student of social communication. A baseball lover, Juan Alberto is a fanatic of the national player in Venezuela. Part of his Beauty of the Purpose project is promoting inclusion and new opportunities for low-income families and children through the practice of sports. He has an excellent stage presence with a positive perspective to life and I think he will give a phenomenal presentation on the Mr. World stage. His heart for charity and kind personality will make him stand out in international contests and have really high hopes from Mr. Venezuela to hopefully win the Mr. World title or become a first runner-up. 
Mr. Philippines, Kirk Bondat, 27 years old, Filipino German, and he stands at six foot three inches tall. He's into fitness and a healthy lifestyle, but he also played esports when he was 13 to 14 years old. He's a student of GBSP, Global Business School in Spain, while working as a fitness model in the Philippines. I think his physical shape and good looking face is fantastic, but what makes him so likable and so appealing is his outgoing personality, and he's so approachable. He doesn't take life so seriously because when I'm looking through his social media, his reels, his videos, he's just having so much fun. I really like his life motto of kiss, keep it simple and stupid. And I think that is so intelligent and so remarkable, but also funny in a sense. There are many positive qualities about crowning Philippines as Mr. World. I hope that the Miss World organization, which they are at the moment in the Philippines for the national pageant of Miss World Philippines, and they get to meet Kirk in person. So I hope they see what I see in him. He will be such a great Mr. World because not only does he have a great social following where he shows his personality, he's being funny, goofy, and he also seems quite serious about important topics like talking about his Beauty to the Purpose project, about talking about people with ADHD and dyslexia. So I think that is a great combination and also it'll be great for the business aspect. So I think this will be a great bonding moment from both the Filipino fans and Madam Julia because the Filipino fans and Madam Julia does not have the best relationship. But I believe that crowning Kirk will be a new beginning of the love between the Filipino fans and the Miss World and Mr. World organization. These are my personal favorites for Mr. World 2024. Let me know in the comments section who are your personal favorites. Do you agree or do you disagree with my choices? Let me know in the comments section and we can start a conversation. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure to click the like button, click the red subscribe button to see more videos like this. We are 4,000 subscribers left until we get the 200k, which is a big milestone for me and my YouTube channel. Thank everyone for watching this video, my content, because I truly appreciate that. It takes me hours to make videos like this sometimes days from recording to editing to posting so for me it takes a lot of hours and it would mean so much for you guys if you do watch it until the end if you're at this moment then thank you so much i do truly appreciate your kind support to me and my youtube channel so thank you so much and i hope to see you guys once again in my next video so bye bye